Good morning, my crafty YouTube friends. Happy New Year to everyone. Um, it's early um, New Year's Day, and uh, my mom has been here for a week visiting. I have not seen her here in my home um, since I've lived in Colorado, so that's 13 years. Um, I've been to visit her many times, but it's been a real joy and blessing to have her here, and um, she's going home today at 12:30. Um, but I created this project um, that I'm going to show you before she got here and um, I just didn't have time to video it so um, I thought today would be a very appropriate day to share it with you because it is my new YouTube name sign and um, as you can see it says Rena Myers my YouTube name um, and I'm sure you could probably guess what it is just by what I'm showing you right now. So I'm going to pull back and show you a little bit more how stinking cute. Okay, so now you can see my Tear Bear. That's what this is called. This is called a Tear Bear. And I used to um, make Tear Bears myself and sell them on eBay. They're very time consuming. And you really don't get enough money for them. Um, so I quit making them and went to uh, making cards and altering projects. But there is a gal in the group I belong to on eBay, the seller's group, who makes Tear Bears. And um, I will link you down below because right now, um, off the top of my head, I can't remember her eBay name. Uh, but I will link you to her auctions below in case any of you would like any of these adorable tear bears. Um, I contacted her and asked her if she could make me a bear that had a sign um, she was holding that said YouTube. And this is what she created for me. And I just love her. So, um, I knew I wanted to use her on my name sign, but at the time I was thinking about my name sign, I did not think I was going to alter a gumball machine for my name sign. However, I loved the um, altered gumball machine I did um, previously so much that um, I decided to alter the metal gumball machine that I had in my hoard vault. And... <clears throat> I did it very similar to the gumball machine I did previously. And I'm going to uh, kind of lift you up and show you at the top. Um, I did something that I do on a lot of my projects, and that's um, cut some lace, um, like a you know piece of lace that I got at, at Joann's, and I cut a piece of it and made it into a bow. <clears throat> the um, center is a Recollections flower, and just below is the top of the gumball machine, and I made it so it can, well, I think, I, oh, I've got a screw on the top of it. It does come off, so in case I ever wanted to put something different in the center, like when I'm ready to retire this name sign, um, I can take the top off and take my name out and do something different. So, um, yeah, inside I just printed out my name. I put some, um, oh, let me show you, some, I don't know what to call it. I don't even know if I, oh, yeah, I do. I put some of this inside, and I also put some, some pink baubles and some clear baubles in there. Um, so, I'm going to show you. Or not, because I may have used them all up. Yep, I think I did use them all up. But I probably put some of these in and some larger baubles but it gives it a real blingy um, 
feel, and I love that. Um, I used some of Artie's uh, bling trim, because I love that bling trim. And then I used this trim um, with the pink sequence and the pink lace. I got that from Hobby Lobby. Then as you come down, I have more of Artie's trim here. Um, I have a, uh, a metal piece back behind this bling piece. And I believe I got this from Butterby Scraps. And this beautiful, beautiful, I mean, stunning bling piece is from the DIY Boutique Supply. And then down here, um, I put a key, um, also from Butterbee Scraps, there. And then these two Jesse James beads, I thought matched the project so beautifully, and they're so blingy that I put those two like they were gumballs coming out of the machine. Um, I have another bling piece here, a bobble and more uh, of Artie's beautiful trim. Then here I have two Recollection um, flowers there and then this pink Recollection flower. Um, then I have an acrylic flower and an acrylic flower here with feathers and some little rhinestone bling there and those are from the um, Hobby Lobby wedding department. And then of course I have my my adorable Terror Bear. Um, at the bottom I got this um, mirror. As you can see down here it's a mirror and um, this was um, in the Hobby Lobby de uh, candle department and this was to you know set candles on but it had um, a bling piece that was missing, which I'll show you right here. And because I knew what I wanted to use this project for, that didn't matter. So I got this like 80% off because of that. So um, around the entire gumball machine, I have this beautiful lace. And I'm not... 100% sure where I got that lace um, but it is gorgeous and then of course more of Artie's bling and then that real pretty pink sequence trim there as well as um, this pink trim that I believe I got at Hobby Lobby or Joann's so um, that is my new YouTube name sign and um, so you'll be seeing this at the beginning of every um, video that I do for 2014. So I want to wish you all a very wonderful new year. Um, I'm excited to get back on track creating projects and sharing them on YouTube with all of you. Um, as I said, my mom leaves to go home today, and um, my time will be mine again, um, although I enjoyed her trip very, very much. So um, many, many um, happy wishes and blessings to all of you, and have a great day. And I'll be back because I have two haul videos to, um, to do this morning. Okay, thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye.